In an unexpected turn of events, the U.S. Space Force abruptly altered a launch window without offering an explanation, coinciding with the arrival of an interstellar comet passing through the solar system on July 1, 2025. Chile's Atlas survey detected something extraordinary speeding toward our system, not from any known region nearby, but from beyond, designated as 3I Atlas. It marks the third verified interstellar visitor ever recorded. What makes this moment remarkable is the rarity of such objects, so rare. It's likened to winning the lottery twice. The only previous examples, Umuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. Stunned scientists. Now, this one has reignited cosmic intrigue. The strange part, just as 3I Atlas streaked through our solar system, the United States' most secretive launch schedules began shifting in ways few could explain. Space Force missions are usually executed with second-by-second -second precision. So any alteration immediately drew attention. The big question remains, why the change? And why now? During the arrival of an interstellar object, that's what raises eyebrows. This wasn't an ordinary comet. 3I Atlas was moving at 130.000 miles per hour, twice as fast as the first known interstellar object and following a retrograde orbit opposite the direction of most bodies in our solar system. In July 2025, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured images of it, displaying a bright halo of gas and dust expanding as it drew nearer to the sun. But what truly unsettled scientists and observers wasn't just the comet itself, but the timing of military activity surrounding it. Back in April 2025, months before the discovery was publicly announced, Space Force authorities quietly adjusted an Atlas V rocket launch window. Their stated reasoning, whether issues and range conflicts, seemed overly simple for an operation of that scale. Aerospace reporters noted the vagueness and suspected there might be more going on behind the scenes. By then, 3I Atlas was likely already inbound, racing through deep space at breakneck speed. This has led many to ask if the Space Force already had data on the object before the public did, or if this was an unbelievable coincidence in astronomical history. The deeper you look, the more puzzling it becomes. The schedule adjustment wasn't highlighted in any official press release. No announcement, no briefing, just a quiet shift. But those who monitor launch logs especially aerospace insiders. Caught the anomaly, military launches are public affairs, and a sudden change never goes unnoticed. Typical explanations like weather or scheduling conflicts have worked before, but this time something didn't align. Behind that silence lies one of the U.S. military's most advanced systems, Space Domain Awareness, SDA. This system acts as a cosmic early warning grid capable of monitoring every object near Earth, from space debris and satellites to asteroids and, crucially, interstellar visitors moving at extreme speeds. SDA doesn't merely observe. It actively analyzes flight paths, predicts near passes, and identifies risks to America's billion-dollar orbital infrastructure. When 3I Atlas entered the solar system, SDA systems began tracking it instantly, not purely for scientific reasons. But for security, the truth is, interstellar objects represent an unknown element for defense strategists. They don't follow familiar orbital rules, making them unpredictable and potentially hazardous. From a national security standpoint, this created both a danger and an opportunity. The threat fragments from a high-velocity comet potentially interfering with satellites or active missions. Picture launching a reconnaissance satellite only for its trajectory to intersect with particle debris from an alien object. But the opportunity? It was a rare live scenario to test how the U.S. could handle a truly foreign celestial intrusion. Some analysts believe that Space Force utilized 3I Atlas as a real-time stress test for its defense systems, adjusting timing, testing communications, and simulating responses to unpredictable space events. It would explain the secrecy. If this rescheduling was a classified exercise, it would make sense why officials stuck to generic explanations like weather concerns. The sequence now fits perfectly together. The unexplained delay in April followed by the comet's discovery months later in July. But the mystery doesn't end there. If Space Force wasn't reacting to the comet's trajectory, what else might have concerned them? At speeds nearing 130, 000 MPH, 
Even tiny fragments from Free Eye Atlas could become dangerous. A pebble-sized particle could puncture a satellite's hull instantly. The risk isn't to Earth. NASA confirmed that 3 I Atlas poses no threat to our planet, but to the equipment orbiting above it. In space, even the smallest debris can cause major damage, with ever-growing concerns about orbital congestion and space warfare. The idea of monitoring or responding to an interstellar object served as both practice and precaution for the defense community. Imagine fragments from a foreign comet traveling at speeds double that of anything ever recorded. Here's the alarming part, a single shard of rock or ice from such a body, moving faster than a bullet, could tear through a satellite with unforgiving force. Consider the implications if that occurred during a critical launch. We're talking about satellites worth billions, responsible for everything from guiding precision weapons to navigating rideshares. These same systems link global communication networks and maintain military connectivity across the planet. One fragment striking at the wrong time could devastate the nation's orbital infrastructure. But there's something even more unsettling. 3 I Atlas isn't just fast, it's disintegrating as it nears the sun. Scattering debris across millions of miles. Observatories worldwide have confirmed this. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope recorded a swelling halo of gas and dust. While the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope observed the formation of a tail. These aren't just beautiful space images, they're evidence of a spreading debris field sweeping through our solar neighborhood. So, was this all coincidence? Or was there a deeper military motive, a test in real time? Share your thoughts before the truth comes out. Because if rare cosmic phenomena and hidden military operations intrigue you, you're in the right place. Understanding what's really happening requires knowing how modern space warfare functions and why 3i Atlas was the perfect scenario for practicing defense readiness. The timing leaves little room for denial. April's unexplained launch delay. July's comet revelation. It all matches too precisely. The U.S. Space Force operates under classified conditions most citizens never glimpse. Launch timelines can be revised to mitigate even minimal risks. When managing assets valued in the billions, a 1% chance of collision becomes intolerable. Yet, what if they weren't merely avoiding 3 I Atlas? what if they were using it? Analysts propose that Space Force may have orchestrated a collision avoidance simulation triggered by the comet's path, not due to fear, but to test operational reflexes under live conditions. From a military perspective, opportunities like this almost never arise. Interstellar visitors appear maybe once in a decade, Ignoring such a chance would be strategically reckless. The operation would be straightforward yet invaluable. Track the comet's motion. Map its debris field. Estimate possible impact zones. And practice adjusting launch timing on the fly, all while maintaining complete secrecy. No press briefings. No detailed media disclosures. Only quiet schedule changes noted by insiders. This approach aligns with official doctrine. The 2023 U.S. Space Policy Directive defined planetary defense and near-Earth monitoring as matters of national security, not mere scientific interest. Both China and Russia continue to monitor every American move in orbit, observing our reactions to surprise events. Revealing too much data about tracking methods for 3 I Atlas could compromise classified technology, exposing how advanced the U.S. Space Domain Awareness Network really is. In truth, this wasn't only about a comet, it was about demonstrating the nation's ability to adapt to unknown space conditions. Because here's the terrifying truth, 3 I Atlas won't be the last alien visitor, and the next might not pass by safely. The next one could arrive sooner, faster, or even on a path threatening vital satellites. Lessons from 3 I Atlas could someday decide whether America retains control of space or loses it to orbital chaos caused by extraterrestrial debris. Yet beyond that lies an even deeper concern, signs suggesting the military may already possess more knowledge about interstellar objects than they disclose. Now, look at the emerging pattern, which should unsettle anyone following deep space phenomena. Each interstellar object seems stranger than those before it. Back in October 2017, Oumuamua entered the inner solar system, immediately baffling astronomers. It accelerated unnaturally showing no gas emissions or visible tail to propel it, seemingly defying known physics. Researchers rushed to explain it, 
citing pressure from solar radiation or invisible outgassing. But none of the data aligned perfectly. Then came 2 i slash Borisov in 2019. Initially, it appeared like a typical comet with a visible tail and gas release. But chemical analysis told a different story. Its composition didn't resemble anything native to our system. Its water and carbon monoxide ratios implied it formed in extreme. Alien environments beyond any solar model. Borisov's origin was clearly beyond our astrophysical norms. Now arrives 3i Atlas, and it's breaking every remaining assumption about what interstellar objects can be. The retrograde orbit itself seems impossible. Objects don't simply turn around in deep. Space without reason. Something powerful and incomprehensible must have influenced that path. Traveling at 130. 000 miles per hour. This object exceeds the speed limits of naturally occurring bodies, moving twice as fast as Oumuamua. As if it isn't just passing through our system, but escaping from something even more mysterious. Are we witnessing a pattern here? Each arrival is stranger than the last. Each one confronting what scientists thought they knew about the universe. Every time one of these cosmic outsiders enters our region, observatories across the world immediately lock on, analyzing every conceivable variable. Researchers publish papers filled with theories and data. Yet in the background, the military is also watching and preparing for possibilities no scientist is ready to say out loud. The real question keeping defense analysts awake isn't whether these objects are natural or artificial, or even where they come from. It's what happens if one doesn't keep going, because when an interstellar visitor stops moving on, that's when the unknown becomes the threat.